What is going on guys? We are back playing some more Surviving with Rotary Craft. Now today guys, we're going to be messing around with the AC electric engine and the magnetizing unit, which are going to be working together to get us power for the spawner controller, which we're going to be hooking up to the blaze spawner right below the floor here. So we do have to do a lot of crafting today, and there is actually a pretty lengthy process involved with getting this all set up, but I think it's pretty cool. Now, one disclaimer I want to put out before I even start crafting this is the spawner controller can be powered through many means, many means that are significantly better than the AC electric engine, considering the AC electric engine requires a lot of prep to get it working and does require some maintenance just to get enough power to actually run this. There's many other ways that you can actually run this. The reason I'm using the AC electric engine today is because we haven't used it before, and I do think it's pretty cool so I want to make sure we cover it in the series so I just want to let you guys know that in case you want to power it through other means so there is a decent amount of crafting we have to do today I did skip a little of it by already crafting the micro turbine and the engine control unit and that's a lot of the stuff over here is just kind of miscellaneous stuff that we're going to be using but most of what we're going to be crafting with is over here so it's a lot of gold uh, nothing else really just a little bit of steel that we're going to be using so to start things out, we can go to the magnetizing unit and we're going to be using these gold coils. This is where most of the gold goes. So I'm going to craft these in the crafting table right away because this is pretty much all we're going to need to craft in the crafting table today. Um, but we're going to need three of these, two for the magnetizing unit and then one for the AC electric engine. And then we can hop back over to the work table and we can just craft the magnetizing unit. Uh, okay, so are we missing something here? Uh, oh, I didn't grab the mount out. Okay, that's right. I forgot. I put the mount in there, didn't grab it out. Okay, so now we should be good. Nope, forgot the redstone too. Okay, now we should be good, don't worry. There we go, okay, so we got the magnetizing unit. Now we can go to the AC electric engine. I think we should have everything to get this crafted pretty quickly. Okay, there we go, AC electric engine. And lastly, we're gonna make the spawner controller, which is a little annoying to make if you don't have a circuit board, but we already had one, so we should be good right now. There we go, spawner controller. And now the rest of this is just gonna kind of be uh, generic crafting. We have to make a couple different bedrock gearboxes, uh, two 16 to ones and a two to one. And then along with that, we're gonna be making a couple diamond shafts just to transport the power from the room we're gonna be working in out to the spawner. So that should be relatively simple to do. I think we're only gonna need eight of these. And we got pretty lucky because the diamond shafts are able to transport um, more than enough speed for what we're gonna be working with today. So we don't need to actually make bedrock shafts. And then we can just craft the rest of these. And we should be pretty good to go then. I do have a redstone comparator, uh, a lever specifically for that, and then some redstone, because to get the magnetizing unit to function and to get the AC electric engine to function, you do need to have a pulse going into it, a relatively quick pulse, and the comparator pulse is gonna be the best way to set it up. It's really easy and really compact. So I think that should be everything. Now, one thing I wanna do before we actually start working today is take this iron chest plate and swap it out for the ethanol jetpack. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because when we're working with the blaze, I do not want them shooting me, catching me on fire, and then having this explode on me. So, just something to note if you do have anything like that on you. So, the reason I do wanna have the spawner controller is because although I don't mind, you know, the hum of the engines and everything in the background of the videos, you know, it makes it feel more like an actual rotary craft series, this is a little bit annoying. It literally sounds like my base is constantly on fire and you can occasionally hear Blaze actually getting killed. So I don't think it'd be the worst thing in the world to disable this every once in a while. Uh, it might be a little bit of a pain to actually get in there with these guys hanging around, but I think we can manage. So we're gonna be working back here. It's a little bit of a cramped room, but we're not gonna be back here that often. Um, you know what, I'm realizing right now I actually did forget to craft something real quick, so we're gonna go craft that right now. It's pretty much the most crucial part of running the AC electric engine. It is going to be the shaft core, which is what we're magnetizing. It's really easy to craft, it's just a shaft, or two shaft units and a piece of steel. So there we go. We're gonna make two of them, and I will cover why in a little bit, but come back down here, go back into this room, which I will eventually put a door on or something. And to start out, we're gonna be working with the micro turbine and the engine control unit. So we can hook up the micro turbine over here and I guess we can just put it, we can put it right down here, no problem. So we'll throw the engine control unit, we'll throw the micro turbine and I guess we can just run the fuel line back here. I see no harm in that. Uh, I'll have to grab the reservoir over from the fractionation unit in a minute but we're gonna hook this up to the magnetizing unit. Now, we actually can, for the time being, throw down a 16 to 1 gearbox 
to get this thing to run a little bit faster just because uh, you want to you want to maximize the speed that we're going to be using for the magnetizing unit if we come in here and we go to info you can see that it does have a required power and a required speed but it has nothing else so you're going to want to get as much speed in there as possible to get it to start magnetizing the shaft core significantly faster and i believe with this setup we can get it down to 0 0.05 seconds per operation which is really nice and you'll see why in a little bit so i believe we can go over and we can grab the reservoir uh it should be full i think we should have a good amount over here in this whole setup yeah we do okay awesome so we're gonna grab the reservoir and then i am actually going to grab this fuel line because i did forget to get one it's a little bad because i just kind of wasted some of the jet fuel that was in there but we're gonna throw it down right here and then we can throw down the reservoir right over here and that'll drain in there i gotta hook up the lever to this thing too and here we go throw the lever on there this thing will be speeding up and you can see that the operation time is slowly going down we got to throw this into acceleration mode though so there we go so you can see now it's went down significantly larger but it's going to keep going down till i believe 0 0.05 so uh this is going to start magnetizing eventually uh once we put the uh, redstone pulse in it it doesn't do anything without the redstone pulse so it's pretty crucial that we get it down right away this does have a long runtime to it it'll be able to function for a very long time but i want to magnetize this as much as possible early on so to set this up we're just going to be throwing down the comparator right over here and i believe we need to do it like this this should work and then flip that on and go like that and this is a fast enough pulse that you are going to be able to maintain a constant um, speed for the AC electric engine and I'll discuss that in a little bit but if we go in here you can see that this is now magnetizing extremely fast so that's great it's gonna demagnetize much much slower than this and you can see that this if we look at the operation time is at 0 0.05 seconds so one of the nice things about the magnetizing unit is that you can magnetize it using you know renewable power we're using a pretty intense form of power here using the micro turbine this is one of the higher tiers of engines so you don't actually need to use this i'm just using it as an example today because i want to get this magnetized fast enough but the idea would be that you have two of these uh, shaft cores and you magnetize one while the other one is in the ac electric engine becoming demagnetized and you just allow one to very slowly magnetize and then you swap them out every once in a while so typically you wouldn't be expending jet fuel to actually magnetize this thing so I'm going to let this keep running just because you can magnetize it a very, very large amount before it'll stop. But now we can worry about setting up the AC electric engine. And unfortunately, I am going to have to actually stop this because I made one too few gearboxes. Um, I forgot that we want a gearbox specifically for this. You can get away without using a gearbox, but it is better with one. So I'm going to let's check the settings on this engine control unit. It's at zero percent speed. I want it manually controlled and flip this off there we go okay so it'll slow down and it'll stop you can see that eventually this should it should be stopping right yeah okay now it's stopping uh this is just going to keep going up in operation time until it's done but i am going to break this bedrock gearbox right now there we go okay so we're going to be setting up the ac electric engine right over here and eventually we'll have to go upstairs and grab a bevel gear because if we break these blocks right here that is going to be a direct shot over to the spawner and that's pretty much where we just need to get it so that's the shafts are going to be carrying it from the bevel gear which will go right here all the way in there so that should be no problem but the ac electric engine can go right back here and we're going to need to run the redstone to it so now that i think of it control we may need to actually move this redstone comparator set up a little bit i think yeah we might we're gonna need to move this i'm gonna rotate it because we can send the same pulse to both of these no problem but i think we're gonna want to put the lever right back here and then the comparator right right down there huh is there a better way for me to actually set this down there we go okay you just got to get the jump timing perfect okay so we'll go like that and the main reason is because we want it running into that and that and have as much room in here as possible so get the lever and throw it back down back there flip that on and there we go so now this thing is ready to go if we were to throw in a shaft core that's magnetized and one thing to note is if i pull this one out right here and throw it in my inventory this is going to start spinning it will actually start working just because it's in my inventory so that's just something to keep in mind uh i can't throw it in here right now though and i will do that 
Um, actually, you know what? No, we'll throw it back in the other one because this is going to be doing nothing for the time being. But what we want to do now is hook up the gearboxes to it. So we're going to have the two 16 to 1 gearboxes and the 2 to 1 gearbox. Now, you don't actually need to use gearboxes for this if you only want to use it to disable or enable a spawner. But the higher speeds we get, the better we're going to be able to increase the spawn rate of the blaze spawner. So that's why I'm doing this. So we're going to hook up these gearboxes right here. And these should all go into acceleration mode just like we want. And then we're going to have to hook up a bevel gear over here. Now this is where the difficult part comes in. Because there's blaze hanging around this whole thing. And so I need to get in there to actually hook up all of this. So this will be interesting. I'm going to come over here and grab out. I think I should have a bevel gear. Yeah, I have two bevel gears hanging around over here. So we're going to grab that out and head back down here. Uh, do I have cobblestone? Okay, so I am going to use cobblestone. I think the best way is to very slowly break my way in there and use cobblestone to kind of kind of shimmy my way, shimmy my way through. I got to be very careful though with how I actually do this because uh, I, I can't wear the jetpack and that becomes a problem. Hmm. I didn't really think this one through very well. Yeah, I should have made a lighting system to actually disable this. Okay. Oh gosh. This is this is already not starting out well. They're trying to they're trying to get on over here too. Okay. So, I don't actually know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to go off camera and devise a plan and then we will be back. Do not worry. Okay, guys. So, we are back. This was quite possibly one of the worst things I could have decided to do to actually hook this up. This just took me like 20 minutes to get through here. Uh, just very slowly, like walking out, placing a block, going back, like that's, it, it took a while to do that. Um, but we are here now, we should be good to go. Uh, so we can hook this up, hopefully disable the spawner, and then, you know, get rid of all this stuff, which was very crudely placed around this. It's, it's really rough too, it's not even like a good path, like it's, it's kind of rough getting in there, but, uh, yeah, we should be good to go now. So what we need to do is hook up the spawner controller to this and that is going to be going right here. So oh, we got to break this torch. That's going to go right here. Now if we click on the spawner controller, obviously it has no power in it. We can go to the info. The spawner controller hacks into a monster spawner and allows you to shut it down or adjust the spawn rates and pretty much just says it's determined by the speed input. You can see the equation here. You can see it has a minimum required power and this is the power that we're going to be getting out of the AC electric engine. That's the max power we're going to get and the power input is on the spawner block itself. So it's not at the green lights that come out of the spawner controller. It is down here at the monster spawner itself. So unfortunately we can't select any of these options until we get stuff in here. So I do have to, I am going to have to like break this block right here so we can actually access this once we have the shafts running to it. But we need to get the diamond shafts and we need to run those right like that and then just rotate them as we go. So like that, 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 there, and there. And then we need to pull out the bevel gear, which is going to go right there. And it needs to go from east to south, east to south. So that should be good right there. We should be able to disable this, assuming I'm actually able, I think the best way to get out there would be to break this upper set of blocks right here. But yeah, so we can throw in a magnetized shaft core and we can throw this one in here just so we remember. So that can go there, these should all be running and this should actually be receiving the power that it needs now because this should be running at a consistent uh, power since this is a fast enough pulse. So we should be able to break these blocks right here, get up here, and disable spawning all together. Huh, where are we running into an issue here? Okay guys, so we are back again. Uh, I guess the issue that happened was that this redstone pulse that was going in here was not working correctly going in from the side. It stops eventually if you're inputting it from the side, it needs to go directly into the back. Uh, it does run for a little bit if you put this pulse into the side, but it stops eventually. So just something to keep in mind. I don't know if that's intentional or a bug or what, but it works fine setting it up like this. Everything should be good to go. This is a little unfortunate. While I was trying to figure this out, Blaze would spawn in here and start killing me. 
uh, so I want to get this done and just close this off as quickly as possible so you can see there's a couple different things now that we have the option to do we can disable and enable the spawner so uh, we can disable it if we want altogether unfortunately it is going to be a little bit difficult to disable it and enable it whenever I want uh, because of where the spawner is located I probably want to get a way to walk above the top of this and then you know open up like a hatch so that I can click on the spawner controller itself but you can see when you disable it it now has this like red uh, stuff coming off of it it's not going to be spawning anymore and then we can go back and check out the next option which is going to be to increase the spawn time so it is a little bit buggy with the number it shows this is supposed to be the minimum spawn delay which is 800 but because we're putting higher speeds in there I believe it should be 200 or 120 okay so 120 if you put in anything different than this that's like below it it'll you know show the number as red saying that you are too low but 120 is the minimum spawn delay now so we should be able to actually spawn them faster than they were before because of course we totally need to spawn these faster uh, but I'm actually just realizing we should probably not do that because we want to disable this and get rid of most of those blaze so that we can break most of what's going on in here and clean it up a little bit so I think now I should I should be able to break some of this maybe I'll leave it like this until you know later and not do it on camera because I'm gonna have to sit here and wait for these guys to you know filter down through this whole system and that could take a little bit so uh, yeah I think that's gonna be it for today guys if you enjoyed the video or found it you know informative entertaining in any way feel free to give it a like as it does help me out a lot and I will talk to you guys later